students of higher learning, it is very vital for the universities, especially the teaching staff, to inculcate the correct teaching of Islam so that our students, especially the Muslim students, will have a correct understanding of what Islam is all about. Islam is not just about rituals, it's also about the uh, way of life. Teaching is adhering the Muslims to be good, not only to brother Muslims, but also to the people at large. Now lately, we have seen that the so-called Western powers, they tend to brand everything about terrorism, they tend to link it to Islam. Now even when the Muslims are holding to the fundamental Islam, they tend to be branded as terrorists. Now, this is one aspect that the higher learning in, uh, institutions need to rectify. We must send a message that Islam is a peace-loving religion and Muslims are peace-loving people. We are not terrorists. Now, this message is very important to rectify the wrong perception that the Western have on Islam and also the Muslims. We must continue to stress that fundamentalism and terrorism are two very distinct ideas of perception. If one holds to the fundamental Islam, it means that that one who is also Muslim must have good behavior, good character, good traits, good attributes, honest, sincere, straightforward, peace-loving. Now, this must be differentiated from the extremists, the so-called extremists. Extremists are people who tend not to be rational in their action, and in the end, they might resort to terrorism. It's very important for us to differentiate these two things and to relay the message to our non-Muslim brothers so that they can really have understanding, correct understanding of Islam and the Muslim people, all the Muslims. But I think half the mission is accomplished if we manage to educate our own students with the correct understanding of Islam so that they can differentiate between what is terrorism and what is fundamental. And uh, as far as the federal government is concerned, projection of Islam is never left behind. We have established, with the help of our brothers from overseas Arab countries, in 1983, the International Islamic University. And now, we have its medical campus the branch of medical campus established in Quanta, the gaming park. Now, I hope our brothers from overseas who are representatives of uh, universities from Indonesia, Pakistan, Brunei, they must also strive to make sure that the students are well equipped with understanding Islam and likewise, hopefully, they can also do what we in Baha, through the Pakistan Foundation, have done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to be scholarly, to be academic, but I think those two aspects of my speech, that is, giving a correct understanding of Islam to our students, to our Muslim brothers, and also to our non-Muslim brothers, and the institution of higher learning continuing to project Islam, I think these two aspects I consider to be sufficient to share with you all today. Thank you very much. I hope everything goes well and you have a successful conference. Thank you.
ladies and gentlemen, and to exchange the MOU. Please be counted on Scholar TV, Elmo M.